Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing another monthly recommendations video. Monthly recommendations is a group on Goodreads where every month we have a topic and we recommend books within that topic. So the topic for November is trilogies and for me this one is really interesting because I have some very mixed feelings about trilogies. While there are some trilogies that I absolutely love, there are also some high profile trilogies that I've read and really did not enjoy. And I actually did a video where I talked about consistency within trilogies and series and I'll leave a link down in the description of that one because it does talk a little bit about my opinions on this topic. Anyway, I digress. Today I'm going to be talking about four trilogies that I absolutely love. Not only are these trilogies that I really enjoy, but these are just some of my favorite series of all time. So first up, I have The Ascendance Trilogy by Jennifer A. Nielsen. This is a middle grade fantasy trilogy and I did a full series review on it, which I will link down in the description. Basically, this trilogy follows an orphan boy named Sage, who is recruited by this man named Connor who is trying to find a boy to pose as this missing prince. This trilogy isn't incredibly well known, but it's really action packed and really fun. And the main character Sage is one of my favorite main characters of all time, if not my favorite main character. He's just so sassy and sarcastic and I really love him. And while I would say that the Ascendance trilogy is probably my least favorite trilogy on this list, that's only because the other three trilogies are like ultimate favorites of all time, like top tier favorite things ever. And these are just still really fun and really fast paced and I would definitely recommend them. Next up is a trilogy by one of my absolute favorite authors and that is the Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis. The Across the Universe trilogy is a sci-fi dystopian trilogy that is set on a spaceship that is taking humans to a new planet. The trilogy is told from two different points of view, the first being a girl named Amy who was born on Earth and was cryogenically frozen to travel to this planet, and the second being a boy named Elder who was born on the ship. Amy is supposed to stay cryogenically frozen for the entirety of the trip to this new planet, but when she's mysteriously woken 50 years before she's supposed to be, She's thrust into a world she didn't even know existed, and she and Elder begin to unravel some secrets of this spaceship that they've been traveling on. Like I said, Beth Revis is one of my absolute favorite authors. She is great at writing sci-fi dystopians. She's great at world building. I just absolutely love everything that she writes, and this series is just so mysterious, and it's really, really consistent. Like, every single book in this trilogy is really great. Book two, A Million Sons, is definitely my favorite book in the trilogy, but all three books are so good, and like I said, the trilogy is just really consistently amazing. And now moving on to a trilogy that's probably going to be on everyone's list, and that is The Infernal Devices Trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I love Cassandra Clare. I haven't talked about how much I love her in a while, but I love Cassandra Clare, and I have made that no secret. I first fell in love with the Shadowhunter world through the Mortal Instruments series back in high school, but I didn't pick up the Infernal Devices trilogy until a year and a half ago, and it is so amazing, and until recently it was my favorite trilogy of all time. As I've said with all the other trilogies so far, this is just a really solid, consistent trilogy. It does build and get better and better as the books go along, but Clockwork Angel is still a really great book. I just love everything about this trilogy. I love the characters, I love the setting, I love the plot. It's just a really, really wonderful trilogy that will forever be one of my favorites. And this should be no surprise, but finally, my new favorite trilogy of all time, The Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I absolutely fell in love with this trilogy when I read it this summer, especially the first book, The Final Empire. Everything about this trilogy is just so wonderful and well-crafted. I love the characters and I got attached to them so quickly and the world is just so cool and the magic system is amazing and the plot is so awesome. It's just, this trilogy is outstanding and if you are a fan of high fantasy and haven't read this, you need to. And once again, this trilogy is incredibly consistent. I gave the first two books 10 stars out of 10 and I gave the third book 9.5 stars out of 10. The only time that I have given a series all 9.5s and 10s was the Harry Potter series, aka my favorite thing ever. This is on the level of Harry Potter for me, which is not a thing that happens ever. Just seriously, this trilogy 
is outstanding and I love it and it made me fall in love with Brandon Sanderson's writing and I can't wait to get to the rest of his books and just talking about this makes me want to go ahead and dive into another of his books right now. Seriously, this trilogy is just outstanding and I couldn't even make a trilogy series review because I loved it too much and I would just be gushing about how much I love this trilogy. It's just outstanding. And just as like a little bonus addition to this list, I did want to mention a trilogy that I'm not yet caught up on and isn't even complete, but I've read the first book and I absolutely loved it, and that was The Name of the Wind slash The Kingkiller Chronicle by Patrick Rothfuss. Seriously, this book is amazing. I gave it 10 out of 10 stars. I haven't continued on because the second book is giant, and I kind of want to wait until the third book comes out to actually go ahead and reread this and read through the rest of the trilogy, but if anyone is to be believed, the second book is just as good as the first one because both of these books have four and a half out of five star ratings on Goodreads and they both have over a hundred thousand reviews. So I mean, these are amazing. So those are my favorite trilogies. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite trilogies are. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!